I'm Elias Maskil, and in this talk, I will present our work, Autotelic Reinforcement Learning in Multi-Agent Environments, done at the Flowers team. Let's start with the question we want to address. How can a group of artificial agents can autonomously explore cooperative goals in an open-ended environment? I will begin with the formalization of the problem. Then, I will present the setup for our experiments, followed by the discussion of our main results, the role of goal alignment, and an algorithm that allows agents to learn to align their goals in a fully decentralized fashion. Finally, we'll end the presentation with the discussion and conclusions. Let's begin with the formalization of the problem. We address the autonomous skill discovery problem. This problem can take two forms, the single agent and the multi-agent case. For single agent setting, this problem has been formalized as the intrinsically motivated skill acquisition problem. To extend it to multi-agent environments, we need to consider settings that require cooperation between agents. And then we formalize it at the, as the decentralized, intrinsically motivated skill acquisition problem, DEC in SAL. This learning framework models a group of agents whose objective is to learn a diversity of goal in a shared environment without any external supervision. By this, we mean that agents will sample their own goals during training. In this image, we show two autotelications acting in a shared environment. These are trained in a fully decentralized manner and are able to exchange messages through a discrete communication channel that helps them coordinate their goal selection. In the deck IMSAP, we define the following training and evaluation paradigm. During the training phase, agents are autonomously setting their own goals and learning to achieve them in a fully decentralized manner, while during evaluation, we externally provide agents with the same goal. By doing so, we ensure that there is a fair evaluation of the group's ability to solve all possible cooperative tasks. Now I will present the environment we used in this work. We designed and implemented an environment for studying coordination between agents. This 2D environment consists of a room with L equals six landmarks on its walls and two agents that receive continuous value observations about the distance and angle to all the landmarks and other agents. They can move by performing discrete valued actions that control their angular velocity and longitudinal force. The tasks that we consider are navigation tasks, where agents need to reach different landmarks. In this setting, goals are vectors of dimension L that can be either one hot or two hot, where a one in the coordinate I of the vector indicates that the landmark I needs to be reached by at least one agent for this goal to be achieved. In this slide, we illustrate an example of two possible goals for a pair of agents and two cases, the left one in which both agents succeed and the one on the right in which the green agent fails while the blue succeeds. In all of our experiments, each agent learns a goal condition policy using PPO with a feedforward policy and uniform goal sampling distribution. In this section, we analyze the role of goal alignment during training. We define alignment as the proportion of episodes in which agents pursue the same cooperative goal. We expect that agents that act independently uh, will fail to master goals that require cooperation, as they will collectively pursue them rarely and receive a noisy training signal. To study this, we compare the performance during evaluation and training trials between groups of centralized, independent, and 50% aligned agents. Centralized sampling, one goal is sampled with uniform probability and is assigned to both agents. Independent sampling, each agent samples its own goal with this uniform probability. Finally, 50% of alignment. In this setting, each agent sample its own goal using its uniform distribution as it's done in independent sampling. But in half of the training trials, we interfere in this sampling procedure and externally provide the agents with the same goal as done in centralized sampling. In addition to the collected rewards, we monitor alignment during training trials and the length of their episode during evaluation trials where shorter episodes indicate that the group solved the task quicker. We observe that ensuring alignment during training improves performance during evaluation, both in terms of reward and episode length. The difference in performances 
are primarily due to cooperative goals. Lowering alignment does not have a big impact on the individual goals. This result, on top of some other results in our work, suggests that the reason why independent agents fail is because of the large number of invisible episodes seen during training. We should note that alignment is not a sufficient condition for acting optimally in our environment, as even if both agents choose the same cooperative goal, they still need to coordinate on who goes where. In our setting, without any recurring policy, we hypothesize that the agents rely on a specialization strategy where the two agents reach an agreement during training on who goes where. We found that the specialization correlates with alignment, and the specialization is an efficient strategy for cooperation in this setting. After seeing that alignment plays a role in the performance, we propose a method to achieve alignment in a decentralized way. The goal coordination game. We introduce an algorithm that allows the agents to coordinate their goals without introducing centralization. This uh, process takes place right before an episode starts. Each agent is equipped with a communication matrix. Each row of this matrix corresponds to a different goal of the agent and each column to a different message. All values of the tables are initialized with zeros. Communication is asymmetric. At the beginning of each uh, goal coordination round, one agent is randomly chosen to be the leader and the other will be the follower. After the leader and follower roles are assigned, the leader samples its own goal, for example, goal number three, and then transmits the message sampled from a softmax on the corresponding row, in this case, the message number one. Then the follower samples the goal from a softmax on the corresponding column, in this case, the goal number two. When an agent is the leader, the entries of its matrix answer the question, what reward do I expect in this episode if I transmit message M where I have when I have goal G? When an agent is the follower, the question is, what reward do I expect in this episode if I chose goal G when I receive message M? After playing several episodes, every agent updates its matrices to reflect the average reward for that specific goal message association computed on the batch of collected episodes. After seeing the previous results, we established that alignment is an efficient strategy for solving the DEP IMSAP. To investigate if it can be achieved without introducing centralization, we now turn to the evaluation of our proposed method for coordinating goals. We see that the evaluation reward for the goal coordination game at the end of training is almost identical to the centralized baseline and surpasses the 50% alignment and the independent sampling. We also observe that early in training, the goal coordination game collects less rewards than its centralized baseline. Similarly, for the episode length, the goal coordination game is initially slower, but at the end of training reaches the same speed as the centralized baseline and surpasses independent and 50% alignment baselines. In this figure, we observe that for cooperative goals, rewards and alignment are highly correlated with improvements in one driving improvements in the other, while for individual goals, rewards are maximized without requiring any alignment. Let's go to the conclusions and the discussion. Okay, so we presented a new problem for formalizing intrinsically motivated multi-agent goal exploration in a decentralized training paradigm, the DEC IMSAP. We also empirically observe that shared intentionality, measured as alignment, plays an important role in the group's ability to solve a wide diversity of tasks. Finally, we presented an algorithm in which alignment emerges without being explicitly rewarded and groups reach equal performance to a centralized setting that guarantees alignment. Discussion. The limitations of this work and future work. Our study of goal coordination game is limited to a population of two agents and discrete message and goal spaces. Extending it to larger groups is important for scaling up its applicability. In such settings, we argue that specialization might no longer help and recurrency to equip agents with memory might be needed. Also, extending it to continuous messages and goal spaces can be done by adopting energy-based models. And finally, our work considers a predefined goal space. In a more general problem, agents can also learn their own goal representations. 
We believe that the deck in SAP can be of interest in real-world scenarios, such as robotics for disaster rescue or extraterrestrial exploration. It allows to consider a population of goal-conditioned reinforcement learning agents that learn how to achieve a wide diversity of cooperative tasks in a fully autonomous manner. Thank you.